We'll start our search by looking at the state database. Now, this database is so valuable because in most states, there's not a central repository of grants like the federal government has with grants.gov. So you have to learn for yourself what the different state agencies offer in grant funding, which can be very time consuming. But GrantStation has done that work for you. For example, our project is in Colorado. So we'll go ahead and click on Colorado, and then we'll see all the different funding opportunities and resources that are available, say loans or training and technical assistance in all the different state agencies we have listed. So again, we've matched up our project here with Colorado. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at a couple of options. And I see some really good ones right here under environment and animals. So let's go ahead and start by taking a look at the land and water conservation page and the Colorado Parks and Wildlife page. And from their grant program page, we'll go ahead and scroll down and see what they have listed. So the first one we see here is a non-motorized trail grants program. Um, they offer funding for projects such as trail construction grants, trail maintenance grants, and trail planning and support grants. Well, that looks really good. And here's another one, the Outdoor Equity Grant Program Fund. And it looks as though they are focused on creating opportunities for underserved youth and their families to get involved in recreational activities. Okay, this looks like a good fit for us. So if we go ahead and move back to our Colorado State Grant page, we can go ahead and save them directly to our dashboard. So we can come back to them later and do additional review. Now, these are just two examples of funding opportunities using our state pages. Now, now that we understand how to access this information, let's move on to the resources available in our U.S. Charitable Giving Database. And you can find that by clicking on Find Grant Makers and then clicking on U.S. Charitable. We'll go ahead and start our search by defining our geographic scope. So we can go ahead and select national grant makers, those that fund across the US and or narrow in on the state we're working on, in our case, it's Colorado. So for our situation, let's start with Colorado first, and we'll choose that from the drop down menu right here. And then we'll go ahead and expand that out to national funders. So scrolling down, looking at our specific areas of interest, I'll go ahead and click this to expand all the options. We're going to go ahead and select environment and animals, and then specifically, we'll scroll down and select trails. So now we're looking at approximately six different results that we have. And one that looks pretty promising right now is the HA and Mary Kay Chapman Charitable Trust and Mary Kay Chapman Foundation support nonprofit organizations in Colorado and in Colorado Springs, Colorado. That's good for us. And looking at their specific areas of interest, they support civic and community, including parks, trails, and community beautification efforts, civic enhancement, and adult and youth leadership. Okay? And the trust considers requests for general operations, projects and programs, capital needs, and organization capacity building. This looks really good. So looking over here on the right-hand side of the profile, at the very top here, we can see their contact information that falls down here and also any specific financial information as well that we have broken down. Now the amount of awards are encouraging and they also fit within the scope of our project. So this is a great fit. We can go ahead and save this one to our dashboard. Let's look at another funder before we move on to additional searches that meet the desired outcome of our project. So this is the Union Pacific Foundation, and their mission is to improve the quality of life in the communities that serve the Union Pacific, primarily in the Midwest and Western US. It looks as though they have a map of all of their communities. Let's go ahead and see what that one has to show us. So it looks like it goes right through the middle of Colorado, so that's a pretty good sign. Let's jump back into our specific profile. And it looks here under safety that they give priority to programs that eliminate risk and improve safe access to community spaces uh, through infrastructure improvements, proper lighting, and public trail improvements. That's a really good sign. Take a look at their financial information. They have $9 million in total annual giving with grant ranges of $2,500 to $25,000, and the average grant is less than $10,000. With this information, this foundation could be a fit for just the signage or a part of our project. They probably wouldn't fund all of it, but they're definitely worth saving to our dashboard. 
after you get the chance to see all the funding opportunities available to you, you can take lower priority ones off your list, but for now, let's keep our universe as open as possible. Now you could open your search to national funders and see the increased opportunities through these grant makers, but let's shift our focus a little and be creative about the impacts of our project and what we are planning to do. So our organization has done its research, and we've uncovered evidence from the Guide to Community Preventative Services. Now that shows that providing access to places for physical activity, such as trails, increases the level of physical activity in a community. Easy access to fun aerobic activities will encourage the development of healthier habits among individuals in the region. So findings from a new study by the U.S. Forest Service are the latest contribution to a growing body of evidence indicating exposure to the natural environment may have a positive impact on health. Now, armed with this information that we know from doing outside research about what we focus on, let's search for funders who are interested in supporting health and wellness, as our project will have a positive impact on health. So we we'll use the example using both national funders and funders who support Colorado specifically. And now we'll go ahead and scroll down to our specific areas of interest. And then we can go ahead and select under health and wellness, another option, another search term. In this case, it's going to be healthy lifestyles. Now, looking at the results we found here, there's one that really pops to mind. And that's the Colorado Health Foundation. And looking down their specifics, if we look under maintaining healthy bodies, they have a children and youth physical well-being interest. And the foundation's goal is to support children and youth to meaningfully and regularly engage in activities associated with good physical well-being in ways that carry across the lifespan. And also another category, nurturing healthy minds, which is another specific interest. They have youth and young adult resiliency. And their goal is to ensure youth and young adults have access to the resources they need to support healthy minds so they have the coping skills to handle their life challenges. So this foundation supports healthy minds and bodies. We aren't sure, though, if they would entertain a trails project. So let's look at some other information in their profile to see if we can get more information about what they funded in the past. And if we scroll down here, we can look on the right-hand side and see grants awarded. Now, we can drill down to the specifics, but I already typed in trails in their keyword search just to see if they broadly supported any trails. And it looks as though that pulled up five specific results. This is super encouraging. This is a funder I'd go ahead and save to my dashboard. As I conduct the secondary research, I'm really drilling down into the details of the funder. I might find it isn't a fit, but for now, I think it's a keeper. So let's look at another potential funding source. Another one I saw while I was doing my research was America Walks. Now, the mission of America Walks is to advance safe, equitable, accessible, and enjoyable places to walk and move. That sounds very encouraging for us. They have a Community Change Grant Program. That's their initiative. They award grants of up to $1,500 for projects related to creating healthy, active, and engaged places to live, work, and play. So our organization isn't really interested in looking at grants at this small amount. But that's a decision that's up to you as the grant writer and your own capacity and your staff time and resources to develop and monitor grant proposals. Now, there are many creative ways to search for funding for a project, and I know we're just skimming the top. But understanding the physical and mental health benefits of hiking trails, you can select other areas of interest to search. A good example of this is under your specific areas of interest, going to community and economic development, and then selecting parks and recreation. Another possibility is maybe you're going to provide some aspect of education to your trail. Maybe you're going to be doing something specifically with the environment and animals. And then within this category, you can choose the general, which will include anything that doesn't fit in any of these specific categories below it. This is a good way to see what's available within this category and might help inform what specific project you decide to pursue. And also, under health and wellness, you have the option to select mental health. Or you can even scroll down further, go to a specific targeted population, 
and then choose what group you'd want to sort of market to, whether it's children and youth or maybe low-income individuals, people with disabilities or seniors in the aging. There's many different targeted populations you could then target with your specific use of the trails. So be bold in your thinking, be creative, and you will find funders who support your efforts. Looking at your projects from a variety of lenses will yield the best results. So get searching, be creative, and most of all, have fun with it.